I wonder how Mario is doing. Do you think he found a way to beat that tub of blubba? I wonder too. I'm so worried. What if Mario got hurt? Well, um, no use wondering. What if we go out and try to eavesdrop again? If Mario managed to beat Tubba Blubba by now, Bowser and his followers would be really, really mad. Don't you think? You may be right, Twink. There's no use just sitting here worrying like this. Let's see what we can find out. The third Peach intermission is probably the easiest of them all, after the first one, of course. There's going to be absolutely no sneaking around required. All we have to do is take this secret entrance, and Bowser and Kevin Koopa will actually be right on the other side. <clears throat> See? It can't be! No! 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 Explain it again! Slowly! Your wretchedness! I keep trying to tell you! Tub of Level was oh, defeated by Mario! Well, that's strange because you told me he was invincible! How can it be someone who's invincible? Urgh, stupid Mario! I guess maybe he found out the secret that made Tub of Level not quite so invincible! And then he beat him! Duh! I despise Mario! Really! Your filthiness! We have to come up with another tactic, and quickly! Mario will most likely go to Shy Guy's toy box next! Yes, so we should prepare something there for his arrival. I won't be satisfied just having him beaten up anymore! What we need to do is find his weak point and completely humiliate him! Yeah! Kevin Cooper, you've got to find out what Mario hates and... Ugh! For the love of- Why- Why is Princess Peach here? What's wrong with those guards? No, wait, hang on. This is actually a good time being my mischievous princess. We're just discussing the weak points of our mutual friend, Mario. So, Princess Peach, what do you know about his weaknesses, huh? And listen, you must be honest. Which of these things does Mario hate most? Oh, I heard he hates mushrooms. Totally despises them. Like, not only does he get absolutely high on them, he grows twice as high when he eats one. Hmm, I see. Excellent. Is there another thing that fills him with dread? Oh man, Thunder Rage? It totally destroys him. And his partner, too. Terrible. Good, good. And how about these things? Which of these things does he- Which of these does he hate? Oh man, Super Soda? I heard that gives him some serious indigestion, therefore it leads to lots of gas. Oh, excellent! Perfect! Thanks, Princess! <laughs> you sure Mario can't avoid these things that he hates? We'll beat him for sure! Did you get all that, Kevin Koopa? Get going immediately! <laughs> of course you're gnarliness! Mario is really in for it now! Where is he? Hmm, I started to wonder for a second there. But then again, keep out his order this time, no choice but to obey him. I guess we'll see! Of course you will! My tactics are brilliant! They're pure art! Right, because they're totally your own. So, Kevin Koopa, have Princess Peach take back to her room immediately! Finally, we'll witness the end of Mario at last! <laughs> Guards, attention! Take Princess Peach back to her room at once! Yes, ma'am! Oh, uh, it's happening again. There we go, they didn't even take five minutes. <clears throat> Hello again, Mario. I knew you could do it. I don't know how to thank you. I knew it was the right decision to ask you to help us. You're a great man. Now that I'm free, I can help you. Ha! Mario's star energy goes up to three. Mario can now use Star Storm and new Star Spirit power. With Star Storm, we can attack all enemies. Mario, I have one bit of bad news. Unfortunately, Bowser's life force is getting stronger all the time. Most likely, it's the Star Rod that's giving him more power. We're not even sure if he's noticing it or not, but there's no question that it's making him stronger than before. We'll have to be much more careful with the coming trials. Ah, I'm sorry to leave, but I must go back to Star Haven. The other Star Spirits are waiting for me there. Oh, and if you could. Please keep it a secret that I got lost forever for us. Thanks, Mario. Bye!
So Star Storm is an incredibly useful Star Spirit power. It uses two Star Power, so I can only use it once before I need to recharge. But it deals seven damage to all enemies. It's really strong. Use it as much as you can, believe me. No more switching up party members too. Real quick, I'm gonna switch back to Paracarry here. Because, uh, let's see here. As soon as we leave... No! Ah! Bugs! Get him off me! I've lost in a freaky forest! So scared! Can you guess whose voice that is? Eek! Yep, it's a good friend, Judy Troopa! Oh, Mario! Oh, thank you! I mean, aha! Boy, are you unlucky to bring me again! Oh, dear! This poor child looks very upset! Was he lost in the forest? Hey! Shut up! Shut up! I'm not a lost child! I'm your worst nightmare! Here comes the pain! Don't think I'm as vulnerable as I was before! Check this out! More power! Now he has wings! Bat wings at that! Haha! <laughs> yeah, that's right! Let's see how I like the new improved Junior Koopa? Why does he call himself Junior Koopa? That's weird. So anyway, I believe this guy has uh, 40 HP. You know what? This might actually work on him. Let's see here. Yes, it works. The enemy's shrunk. So, oh, he'll actually be harder to hit because of this. Oh, damn, that actually got him. See, I believe, oh man, I think his attack power is like, uh, what is his attack power? Like five? Let's see. Damn, I can't believe I'm actually pulling that off. Oh yeah, so helpful. Yeah, it's type power is five. Okay. It really effectively only lasts at one turn. The shrinkage. Okay. Well, it doesn't always work. You know. There, I actually got him. It didn't want to make it too powerful. Gee, five damage sure is a lot. Let's use some spaghetti. Let's see, I want to say he has 4 HP, this guy. Judy Troopa 3. There we go, 2 damage. Let's see, uh, oh, I know. How about I use Starstorm for the first time? So Starstorm normally attacks all enemies, but Judy Troopa is just the one guy. So check this out. Yeah, it targets all enemies. And because it's not Mario, no, because Mario's not the one doing the attack, he pierces enemy defense. Let's see, he should be almost down. Fry Troop. Ooh, still have a Fry Troop. Perfect. Refund. Huh, good thing I actually still had that. Now I don't have enough to do this. I want to see if this will finish him off. Yes, that took care of him. Another 23 star points. Hey, level up! Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and increase FP. No! Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! Okay, so to leave the forest, you just have to simply take the incorrect path. But I can finally show off what this path is like since I no longer have to worry about let's see here what does Gabari have to say about it? That's all it's to say to me! Gloomy trees that seem to go on forever! Seems like they found the perfect name for this place! By the way, did you hear something in that bush? Wrong button, Joseph. <clears throat> so this room isn't anything special See, I don't have to worry about these guys first striking me. But in this room is an FP Plus badge. It's right here. This is it. Alright, now to leave the forest, you just have to simply go go to the, the wrong way. Back End up back at the beginning, and here we are. Oh, I made it out of the forest. I can kiss this ground. Yahoo! Interesting. 
Okay, so let's... What did I have equipped before? I chill out. I think it was Spike Shield. Yeah. Now, upon running back to Toad Town... Oh, this is weird. What's up with the music? Oh, right. I leveled up. That's what the star energy is full. Strike has every reason to rock us all over town. But compared to ghosts, Strike has nothing. Your feist team, the guard forever for us, correct? Let's see, yep. We have a letter for him. We found a gusty gold tree. Do you remember? I wonder who Bootler is. Ugh. Oh, no. No! This is for that ghost! It says, I'll creep up with you when you're sleeping. Boo! He was scaring me! You think he'll really... Creeping darkness. Oh, woe is me! I'll never sleep! Get a hold of yourself, Ice T. Stand tall. Fear not. I'll be okay. Here, take this. Let's start piece for our trouble. We have six now. Oh, no! My favorite frying pan! Why was frying pan capitalized? <clears throat> Let's see. Aw, she looks so sad. Oh, hello there, hon. Thank you for coming to visit, but I'm afraid I can't cook now. I'm so sorry. My dear old frying pan was stolen by a shy guy. It really burns me up. So we won't be able to cook and taste tea for a little bit. What else is happening in Toad Town? Hey, you! You little scamp! Get your hands off! Give me back my calculator! So you need a calculator? Let's see. I should have just throw dad's calculator. You should have heard what my dad said. We can't open it now. Stupid shy guy, get back dad's calculator. Sorry, bud. I had to close up shop. Some idiot shy guy stole my calculator. You believe that? I need that thing to calculate sales, bud. I'm not a genius. When I find that little punk. Let's see. So, so shy guy's over here. Merlin's standing outside. Let's see here. That takes care of one. That takes care of the other. Oh, thank you! The flowers give you their thanks as well, Mario! Let's see, why is Merlin standing out here? What does he have to say? Oh, it's you, Mario! What fortunate timing! Hmm, the time seems to be pretty active today, but it's out of my concern. I had a dream last night, and another oracle spoke to me. Its voice is heavenly. If you keep going around and around the red palm tree of the distant desert town, dry dry outpost, something good will happen, so said the voice of my dream. It doesn't seem to make any sense at all to me. In fact, thinking about it makes me so easy that I can't sleep at night. If you find out what it means, please tell me. A red palm tree and dry dry outpost, huh? Let's see what else is going on. What's going on in the post office? Stop! Thief! Oh, how do you do that? I'm sure I got just sold a bag full of undelivered letters. I'm sure there were tons of important letters in that bag. Bills, cards, packages. What are we going to do? Huh. People not getting the mail. That doesn't sound like good news. Oh, yeah. Um. If we go to the Toad House. See, there he is. The Toad House's slogan is Refresh your body and soul. But it's impossible to get refreshed with the Shy Guy jumping all over the place. Sorry. Pow. Pow. There he goes. Let's see. Now that the Shy Guys are, uh, shy guys are going, you can stay here. Should I take a nap? We don't need to. Let's see here. So this music will play until we can uh, clear the fourth chapter. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, words are mocking me. I need that dictionary. The shopkeeper is out here for some reason. Let's see. <clears throat> Curses, Mario! I should have stole my dictionary. Please get it back from him. I'm, I'm losing IQ points. So, remember when I said I, I was not allowed to say the word stupid as a kid? Uh, this is one example of how it was so awkward to read. Take off, you lousy shy guy! Oh, lousy! I don't care how convincing your Mario disguise is! You aren't getting in! Stay away from my family! Dad, you are so cool! I thought he said the word stupid. Let's see here. A shy guy took over my shop! My precious shop! Please, Mr. Mario, get the shy guy out of my shop! Let's see here. What does Gumbario have to say about him? <clears throat> this shy guy's just causing trouble in here. He's pretending to shop, but he's not buying anything. Hey, buy something and get out, pal! You hear me? <clears throat> T 
<laughs> Welcome to Shy Guy's shop. Too bad I'm not gonna sell anything to you, Mario. Oh yeah? Hey, let punk! Oh no, poor me! Mario, we to show the little hooligan a thing or two. Hooray, thank you so much. I'll still give you great deals at rock bottom prices. Don't be a stranger around here. Do I have anything besides the wacko's bumps in storage? I'm oh, sorry, I, I clicked the wrong option. I meant to check the claim. I meant to click the claim. I have nothing but wacko's bumps, okay. Let's see here. Fire flower, power block. <coughs> Okay, so Toad Town is doing so hot. What about Mario's house? Oh, hello. Huff, huff. You wouldn't believe it. Shy guys were everywhere. They moved like the wind. Huff, huff. And all I managed to do was get really upset and yell. What's that, Mario? You need something? He what? Mr. Koopa Koop wants to get my autograph. Me? He wants me to sign something? Whoa, cool! I'm flattered! I guess we've been a little bit of a celebrity, huh? Wait one second, I'll write it right now! Here you are, Mario! My autograph! Give her regards to Mr. Koopa Koot, okay? Luigi's autograph! Koopa Koot wants this! Yeah, you forgot about that? Because I remembered! Let's see here... Pow! Hey look, a shotgun going down a warp pipe, that's new! <sighs> I'm a great jumper, but I really, really need some work! A little more training, I'll be invited to your team! Alright, take it easy! I know I can't go! You go on your adventure! I don't even want you anymore! I know that it's up to you to save Prince's speech, so hurry up for my sake! Alright, well that, that takes care of that! And before we move onward, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take care of a few things in this video. I think I have speedy spin, huh? <clears throat> See, so I believe that it's just about everything that was stolen. So let's take care of a few things. So, the trigger for that, the third unit trooper fight, is actually as soon as you get these super boots. Because you can take a shortcut down here to completely skip it otherwise. See, the one in the middle, I believe, goes to Koopa Village. So I believe the one on the left, yes, goes to Joy Joy Outpost. So let's walk around this red palm tree a few times. Hold on, am I doing this? There it goes. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a sec? What exactly are you doing walking around that tree? You're making me dizzy. What? You're joking. You believe some crazy dream? Well, okay. I guess. I mean, I got a message in a dream a long time ago, but it didn't mean anything. It said there's a house with a whirly roof in a large town near a castle. If you spin Joe three times inside the house, something good should happen to you. Ha ha ha! How's the whirly roof? As if that existed! Ha! Huh. I don't take dreams seriously. Who would? <clears throat> well, maybe if it's the correct dream. <clears throat> so now that we finally have Luigi's autograph, we can... Uh, deliver this to Koopa Koo. <clears throat> Let's see here. Come on. Here you go, sir. Hop it, Hammer Brothers! You're a wizard, Mario! <laughs> I have so many unique treasures now! What a lucky Koopa I am! Let's see here. One coin. Here's another favor. Well then, okay. The other day, we were shopping at Koopa's shop at the village. But on the way home, I must have dropped my wallet on the road. Look for it, would you? My memory is kind of sketchy, but I think I remember talking to the, that guy who listened to the radio in front of his house. I'm sure my wallet was with me then, but after I got home, I realized it was gone. I'm hyperventilating! I must find that wallet! Promise me you'll help? And by help, he means I'll do all the work while he sits back. So, this is actually the other spot where you can get Koopa leaves. I believe it's this bush. Uh, what? Huh? Oh, here it is! A wallet Koopa Koop, dro Koopa Koop dropped. Return it to him. I said Koopa Koop. <laughs> yeah, right. So this one was pretty easy. There you go, sir. Uh, what? 
Oh, thanks, Star Haven! You saved me again, Mario! You seem to have a nose of funny things. Take this as thanks. Yep. Yep. Another favor. Let's see here. If you find the time, I really do agree for a tasty tonic. Most shops sell it. It's my all-time favorite drink. It really clears out the old beak. Yes, indeed. Fetch me a cold one, would you? I'm parched over here. I have, I have your war, young fella. How many items do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Oh, I used three items. I thought I used two. Okay. I knew I used some items. So Koopa Koo wants a tasty tonic. And we just so happen to know of a shop that sells the stuff. It's over in the second part of Toad Town. Second shop. <clears throat> Mario! Right, we forgot about this. Mario, Mario, good to see you. We finally thought you could feed a tub of blubber. I knew you could do it, I just knew it. When we heard the news, the princess was very relieved. <clears throat> oh yes, I've got new information about the honorable star spirits who are still in prison. Have you ever heard of Shaggy's toy box? It seems that one of the honorable star spirits is being held there. But, where on earth is Shaggy's toy box? I have no idea. Oh, time is short. I have to go back to the princess now. Good luck, Mario. Princess Peach and I are always cheering you on. Alright, so let's go inside this shop. Hey, you! Thief! Oh. Looks like you stole the key. Oh, Mario, it's you. I should have stole my storeroom key. I can't stay in business if I can't get into my storeroom. What in the world will I do? Kid, are you really not, a? Uh... Okay, well, we can still buy stuff at least. So that's good. <clears throat> well, we can still buy stuff, we just can't store anything. That's odd. But there's another shop nearby, so I guess it doesn't matter. So let's go back to Merlin's house. And do what that guy told us. So here's a spinning roof. Spin Joe three times. There it is. Huh? Oh, this badge is quick change. I had no idea such useful badges in my attic. Uh, how do you get up there? Mario, you're a very lucky man. You should put that badge on. Quick change badge. Changes a party member and attacks with it on that turn. So this badge, this badge is broken beyond belief. Let's see, where is it? Huh? Oh, there it is. Quick change. During battle, unless you change a party member, and so use the new member without losing a turn. So basically, you can change your party member in battle, and you won't lose your turn. I don't know why this isn't just a standard feature in the game, but it isn't. Alright, so let's do some more of Koopa Koot's favors then. I got the Tasty Tonic. So the Tasty Tonic, for the record, cures poisoning and shrinking. You can use it in the field. No, wrong button. You can use it in the field, but it won't actually do anything. You'll just get a circle and Mario will give his usual thumbs up, but that's it. Let's see here. There you go, sir. <clears throat> Pori Piranhas! You're like a psychic, Mario! This is exactly what I wanted! As a gesture of gratitude generosity, take this! Wee. Another favor for old man Koopa Koop. I've heard through the grapevine that there's a beautiful fortune teller living at Shooting Star Summit! Oh boy. So, if you would, I want you to hike up there and ask her for an autograph. I'm too shy. Run along for me now, I can barely wait. You promise to hurry? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't think this one was gonna come too soon. Uh, this soon. Let me see here, so... We're supposed to go to Shooting Star Summit. Is there a badge that I want? Well... I only have six star pieces. So I can't really do much at that. Alright, come on, open the door. There it goes. There's the water fountain. Come on. You see how much faster this is going with thanks to a uh, speedy spin? This is why I like this badge. You can also stack speedy spin with the other spin badges. Oh, since I'm here, 
That star piece I was talking about before. Let's see. What? I thought there was a, a panel here. Huh? What? Oh, there it is! I knew there was a panel in this room! Let's see. I was just in the wrong spot. Another star piece that brings you up to seven. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was eight. So to talk to him more lovely here. Let's see here. Ah, my my. Hello there, Mario. This spot is a little tight for fortune telling. If you want your fortune read, talk, talk to me over the counter. Excuse me? If you want my autograph? My my. Mercy. Are you sure it's mine you want? You really do? Bro, this is a first. What shall I do? Ah, of course. I don't mean to be a stick in the mud, but I'll give you the autograph on one condition. A small favor. I want you to visit my twin sister and fetch a crystal ball from her. She lives in a back alley in Georgia Outpost. Her name is Merle. Well, Mario, would you? Yeah, so you have to do a favor, another favor, in order to do Koopa Koot's favor. <clears throat> so I wonder. I didn't think it was going to come up quite this soon, though. That's why I got quick change when I did. Okay, well, back to Georgia Outpost for me. Let's see here. Okay, now that I'm here, where we we're supposed to go is behind these crates. Watch, see? This is Merle. Keep this quiet. If this woman casts a spell on you, it might help you during battle. For instance, your attack power might get stronger or you might get more coins for winning. Other stranger things may happen as well. But do not rely on this spell, by no means will it take effect in every battle. The spell can be beneficial, but it's also unpredictable. My older sister, we're lovely, what's she want? Oh, I see. Is that so? I bet I know. Oh, ho. Okay, okay. Please give this to Mer Lovely with love from her sis, Merle. Crystal ball. A gorgeous crystal ball. Give this to Mer Lovely. Otherwise, if we talk to Merle... Hello, welcome. How are you? Feeling jolly? Feeling blue? I'm Merle, you see. That's me. A cuter gal you'll never see. I do magic, but not for free. Your luck has steered you well, for I'm the master of the spell. When my spell upon you glows, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare take, to take a chance? Want to watch the cards dance? Sure. Oh, how lovely. Very good. Just pick, pick just one now, if you would. I'd pay as much as I could. Special course, ordinary course, and petite course. It basically determines how often, how many times it activates before the spell wears off. Well, we're ready. Tally ho. Then here we go. So check this out. I think you'll find this power might get your foes to cower. It will light your darkest hour. Even should you meet a beast, do not fear, none the least. My spell makes a famine feast. See you then. Please come again. Goodbye, my friend. <clears throat> so this spell can do things such as increase your attack power, increase your defense for a turn, give you more coins after battle, and even double your star points. Nice. <clears throat> so now we have to go back to Shooting Star Summit. All right. Give me a sec. Okay, now that I'm back here, let's bring the crystal ball to more lovely. Over here. Let's see. Here you go, lady. Oh, mercy. Thank you. I'll cherish this. And for you, here is my autograph, as promised. They'll be valuable someday. An autograph from more lovely. Koopa Koot wants this. So now we gotta go back to Koopa Koot. They're cutting a row, huh? Okay, back at, Koopa, back at Koopa Village. Let's give Koopa Koot the autograph. Here you go, sir. Jumpin' Jungle Fuzzies! You're peerless, Mario! My word! Good gracious! Oh, oh my! What beautiful handwriting! Be still, my heart! Uh, that is, this would be the heart of my collection! You're a standard guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors! This time, we'll give you this special gift as thanks! Don't tell anybody, though. I've got a reputation to keep. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. Damn straight that got us three star pieces. Another favor. I'm not quite as mobile as I was in my salad days, and as a result, I feel like I'm losing touch with the outside world. A newspaper would be the best way for me to catch up, no? 
Would you mind reading this hotel news to me? You could tell me the news then. My eyes aren't so good, see? Don't spare the juicy gossip either. I'm all ears. Hurry up if you can. I'm losing touch here. Promise me you will? So, we're not supposed to bring Koopa Koot a newspaper. We have to go to... The newsstand in Toad Town. Not the newsstand. I don't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but you'll see what I mean. <clears throat> this shouldn't take too long. See, see, this is not an item? And he means, uh, by gossip it means read the back, too. No? Shut up. Toad Town News. Shy Guy Evasion. Robbie Rogues Run... Robbie Rogues Run Rough Shot. I, I don't think I've seen that word. A squad of scurrilous Shy Guys has beset Toad Town, leaving our fair citizens in a daze. The thefts are too numerous to name here, but suffice, suffice it to say, residents are urged to guard the possessions. It's still unclear where the Shy Guys are hiding out. The post uses it breaks. So I read it back too. Righteous Mr. Corner. How many Koopa Troopers have been beaten up by Mario? It's shameful. Anonymous Koopa. Alright, now we gotta go back to Koopa Koo and tell him the news. Let's see. I don't think I'll have to cut this out. Yeah, this isn't gonna take too long. So I believe the news is the first one after chapter 3. I don't know. Like, I couldn't do Luigi's autograph for a little bit, so... I lost count of where I'm at with the favors. Let's see here. Creepy crazy daisies! You're pure class, Mario! Ah, so that's what's going on in the world. I'm not sure I believe all those wild tales, but I suppose if you say so. Since I catch up with the current lingo, I've had a hard time understanding youngsters lately. Now I'm hip! <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, what luck! Another favor! <laughs> Let's see. I've been ailing a bit lately. I'd like to get a life shrew, you know, you know, to have a hand just in case of an emergency. I must have one! I must! Please, please, find one for me! You should be able to find one at select shops. Please hurry, I feel it well at all. You promise to return? Okay. So... I want to say this is a pretty good place to call it quits. Yeah. Because there will be a shortcut to Boo's Mansion that you can take down here. But we have to fight some enemies in order to do that first, alright? So let's call it quits for right now. So next time Paper Mario, let's see what we can do about Koopa Koot's latest favor, huh? See you then.